Hey guys, it's Kristen from Action Potential, and one of the questions that I get asked all the time is what are some exercises I can do when I'm sitting at my desk at work? So certainly with the number of people that have desk jobs, particularly ones that involve working on a computer, we have to be really aware of the long-time effects of working at a desk on our posture and our strength. So this is my top three exercises for those who have to work at a desk or work from home working at a desk. Uh, to help reduce any kind of postural issues or future strength problems. So as you can imagine, when you're working at a desk for long periods of time, all of us are, you know, have our monitor in front or our laptop in front, and we tend to get into this Mr. Burns hunch style posture where we've got the rounded shoulders and we're looking at our computer. This first exercise is to help combat that problem. So what you're gonna do is while at your desk, you're going to wrap your shoulder blades around onto your spine and help open up the front of your chest. You're gonna feel that nice gentle stretching across the opening of your chest. As you do this, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're sitting up nice and tall so that the back of your neck isn't still hanging out in front of you. You wanna make sure that your posture is tall, wrap the shoulder blades and just hold for about two or three seconds and then release. You can repeat this as many times as you'd like in a row and especially throughout the day so that instead of getting kind of stuck in that position, you're allowing your body to feel the counter position and to open up. The second exercise that I recommend at a desk is a squat. So even though we tend to sit for longer periods of time, which can tighten the front part of the hips, when we work on a squat, we help to strengthen the back side of our muscles, as well as by standing nice and tall, get a nice stretch across the front side of our hips so that we're not kind of stuck in that bent seated position. When you're doing a squat, the tips that I like to recommend is that you set your feet a comfortable distance apart and bend as if you were sitting into a chair or my favorite tip is hovering over a porta potty for the ladies out there. So this avoids the temptation of wanting to just bend through the knees, keeping your chest upright. So you're gonna to want to indeed hinge as if you were bending and sticking your rear end out behind you, and then press yourself up nice and tall. One thing to keep in mind is as you go into your hinge, you wanna avoid the tendency to get too sway backed in your low back. To avoid that, just create a little bit of tension in your abdominals, I usually call it a karate chop stomach, so imagine that you're keeping that tension in your abdominals, bend as if you're going to sit down or hover, and stand back tall. The third exercise that I love for a desk is a plank. This is a great one if you're on a conference call and you've got to uh, you know, kill a little bit of time while you're in the midst of chatting, or maybe you're, having, you know, uh, you're waiting for a meeting to start, you've got a couple extra seconds to kill. With a plank, uh, you can do this right on the edge of your desk instead of getting down onto the floor. You're gonna place the hands on the edge of the desk, set your shoulder blades in the back pockets, and step back into that plank position. You should be really straight here from head to heels. So you wanna avoid the temptation of having a rounded spine or a sway back to back. So create that tension in your abdominals with that karate chop stomach. And from here, you can either work on holding for a longer period of time, or you can add in a challenge of tapping one hand to the opposite shoulder. A plank is a great exercise for helping to create stability in your low back and activate your core muscles. So it's one that I often will recommend for people that spend a lot of time sitting as their body then is not getting the challenge that it needs. If you have any other questions about these three exercises, be sure to visit our YouTube page to check out these specific exercises individually, and you're always welcome to message us or email. And of course, if you would like more information for your specific situation, be sure to visit our website, www.reachyours.com, to book a free consultation, or follow us on social for other wonderful tips.